Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology and this is Rajshri here. Today's video is about Sagittarius moon signs and Sagittarius ascendants and how the month of September is going to be for you. And before I go ahead with the predictions, a small request to you, please subscribe to my channel and if you feel that this video is going to give you some kind of guidance to manage the planetary energies of September, do like this video and share with others as well. Thank you so much in advance. Let me now begin with the predictive part. September 2023 is going to be a very significant month for Sagittarius people. And there is a marked distinction between the results of the first half and the second half. Let's find out more. We all know that your sign Lord Jupiter is going to turn retrograde on 4th of September. When Jupiter turns retrograde, his beneficence increases. How? It's through efforts, more efforts, and more hard work. Since Jupiter is your sign lord, you will now think and act differently than usual. This retrogression is happening in your fifth house. Rahu is also present there. Jupiter has Saturn's and Mars's aspect. Let's uh, count that in. First thing that comes to my mind with all these combinations together is that you need to take every decision after weighing pros and cons a hundred times over. Remain careful of investments and finances. It will be good if you do not go after any quick money-making schemes. Remain careful of your children's health as well. Retrograde Jupiter is trying hard to overcome all the malefic aspects and associations. But dear, there are too many malefic influences on this Jupiter. Therefore, take care of your health too. Take care of stomach, liver or heart related issues. Retrograde sign lords normally make people extremely stubborn and it is reflected during transits too. So think again, think through carefully before you take any financial decision. Try to be flexible with your children. Take care of your reputation as well. Venus has been retrograde in your 8th house. On 4th of September itself, Venus will turn direct. This is a good thing for you. You may buy a property or a vehicle. However, remain extra careful of all details so that you do not have to redo anything. You may also meet somebody very significant of opposite sex, if you are particularly if you are a man. And if you have been going through an emotional setback for some reason or there is a chronic illness, September will give you an opportunity to come out of it. If you are pursuing education, you need to focus more in this month. Pregnant women need to take extra care of health. Mercury is transiting through your ninth house and will remain combust and retrograde till the middle of the month. This is not great for career. However, after 17th, Sun will move to your 10th house and Mercury will also turn direct and will come out of combustion. So expect professional rise in the second half of the month. Sun and Mercury will also form an excellent exchange in your 9th and 10th house. This is again a wonderful thing for your professional progress. So try to utilize the time after 17th. Your social status will also be good. 
Mars is also placed in your 10th house. This is good for making your presence felt in the workplace. However, remain careful of differences with the boss. Do not get into too much of analysis or nitty gritties or fault finding. If you can avoid these things, you'll be good. A uh, new moon is also taking place in your 10th house. So this again indicates a new beginning. So if you have been looking for a new job, new work, or even a new career path, the second half of the month can bring good news for you. Coming to your married life, your married life will improve in the second half of September. Mother's health will need some attention in the second half though. Retrograde Saturn is sitting in your third house. In the first half, the Sun-Saturn opposition will be there. So you may face delays and difficulties in carrying out your projects or ideas. After 17th, you will find things are suddenly gaining pace. If your siblings are facing problems in life, that will also reduce. Monetary situation looks good for you in September. If it applies to you, there may be gain of parental property or assets. Overall, the second half of September looks way better than the first half for you. So this is what I had to uh, share with Sagittarius moon signs and ascendants about uh, the month of September, how the month can unfold for you. Hope you got some kind of guidance from this video and if you feel that this is valuable to you, please like this video, share with others as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.